Today I'll be doing a video tutorial of how to install a new hard drive into a PlayStation 4. This process is very sim fairly simple. All you need is a uh, Phillips head screwdriver, a USB flash drive with at least one gig of uh, free space on it, or an external hard drive with at least one gig of free space on it to facilitate data transfer once you put in the new internal hard drive to reformat the uh, or to format that, that internal hard drive into your um, PlayStation 4. So, some of the, the, the commonly asked questions I'll probably get um, for this video is, or will your warranty be voided if you take off the hard drive and put in another hard drive? And according to Sony's website, the answer is you will, your warranty will not be um, voided whatsoever. This is a fairly easy process, so that, that question is answered. And another question is, does the PlayStation 4 support solid state um, hard drives? And yes, it does. Even though this hard drive is not solid state, I have seen people on YouTube put in a solid state drive and install the hard drive. And it works, you know, actually better than it normally would if it was a regular disk drive. So let's get into the installation of the hard drive. So this portion of the video, I will be doing the actual how to take it apart. So all you have to do is basically just slide it off the shiny part too, not this part over here, but this part. It's actually hard to do. Oh, I finally got it off, okay. Basically it slides this way. Uh, make sure you, you slide it directly across too, because I was sort of applying pressure to the bottom of it. So that's why I was having a little trouble there getting it off. And then what you have right here is you have the heart, the internal hard drive. So when you're doing this, you want to ground yourself, and you also want to make sure you don't touch it with both hands because you might short it because it can conduct across your body. So oops, going the wrong way. Take this screw off right here. screw right here is this screw. Thank you, Mr. Cameraman. <laughs> Alright, you got it? Okay. <laughs> That's my cameraman back there. So, round this off again. Slide it out right here. This is the hard drive. So, to actually take this internal hard drive outside of the enclosing, you'll see some screws on the side. You got it? Alright, you'll see some screws on the side and there's some screws on the other side and all you have to do is unscrew it and that's it. So, so now I have a new hard drive in, I have the uh, screws in, so all you have to do now is just slide it on in. Slide it on in. Sound like Happy Gilmore. <laughs> and bam. Don't you want to go in your hole? There you go. So it's kind of like a good movie to watch tonight. That was easy. <laughs> well, actually, we're not done yet. So, what you have to do now is you want to have it like midway. You actually want to have this go on first, have it midway, and then just tap it in. Tap, tap, tap. That was easy. All right, so we are now on the final steps of the video. All you have to do now is go to the PlayStation.com website and go to the latest update patch, but instead of you um, downloading the actual update file, you want to scroll all the way down and go to perform a new installation of system software. And then once you download that file, it should be about seven to 800 uh, megabytes. You want to go to your, um, your USB drive or your hard drive and make a folder called PS4 in all caps, no spaces. And then go to um, or click in that folder and then have a, a folder, another folder called update in all caps and then make sure you don't have a space after that as well. And you put the file that you downloaded in the update folder and then you plug it into your PS4 that is currently off. So once you do all that, 
And also another thing you need to do as well is make sure you have your PlayStation 4 controller plugged into your PS4 via um, a USB cord. So then once you do all that, you hold your power button down for like 7, 8 seconds and then you hear a beep and then within about, I will say 5 to 10 seconds, it goes into what is called safe mode. And you want to go to option 7 and then press OK. So if everything works out fine, everything's named correctly. Just to take a little bit. So the basic gist of it, um, everything will be deleted. I should have said in the earlier part of the video that you want to back up your uh, your actual game save files, but I mean, hopefully you watch this video fully before you um, install you know your hard drive or you, it's pretty much common sense to back up your save data before you um, you know put in a new hard drive so once and once you do all that you press yes this takes about uh, five to ten minutes so to just expedite, expedite it and just finish the video um, it should work prop it should work just fine um, basically now all you have to do is um, from whatever storage, like you know, external storage device that you use to um, back up your games, you can go to settings and then uh, put the save files back onto that system. And then it's, it's pretty much once you're done with everything, it's almost like you're redoing everything you did when you first got your system. It's a clean uh, reboot or whatever of the PlayStation 4. So, hope this um, helped you guys. Thanks for watching. And subscribe, like, comment. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'll have like the steps and information and links in the uh, description below. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.